people that push having open borders will not have a real debate on the subject. The fact that none of these Arab countries will take any of the refugees, the fact that Latin American countries have strict controls and borders, and if they didn't, the ones that don't end up being failed states. I mean, this is how you bring a country down. Half of Arizona now has signs up saying, don't go down this road under the control of cartels. Our government has given roughly half of Arizona, the southern half, to the drug cartels. Now, that doesn't mean I'm for the drug war either. Decriminalize to end the incentive for the drug cartels. But while we got the drug war running, we've got to control the sovereign territory of this nation. I mean, it's a fraud that the TSA wants to grope my genitals, put me in a naked body scanner to keep me, quote, safe at an internal checkpoint. But the border's wide open. That's all I'm saying is it's all a fraud on its face. Tons of news straight ahead. Stay with us. All right, I want to open the phones up in this hour. We cleared the lines of folks that were from Ventura because obviously Ventura's gone. If you've got any questions, comments, agree, disagree, any news items you want to raise, whatever the topic is, I want to hear from you in this live worldwide third hour. It is the 21st day of September 2015 on this Monday transmission. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Thirty-one Headlines at Infowars.com. Hungry authorities, troops, again, Hungary authorizes troops to use rubber bullets on rioting illegal immigrants. They had issued that last week, but then revoked it, saying it was a human rights violation, but now it's been reissued. Uh, also, cop threatened students with jail for handing out pocket constitutions. We're going to play some of that shocking video here in just a moment. Breaking Russian Marines battle ISIS in Syria. That's pretty much exclusive to InfoWars. At least it was an hour ago uh, when it broke. It was not in Western News. It's in the official Russian news publications. Uh, establishment Democrats work hard to push Clinton over Sanders. Obama supporters sign petition to nuke North Korea. Half of Americans believe federal government to be an immediate threat to freedom. We've got Alex Jones harassed by TSA over a jar of grape jelly. I got photos of it. And then another article, all Republican presidential candidates stand for war. I, you know, I read that article and I agree with Roberts on most issues, but Rand Paul is not supporting war. So I'm a little bit, little bit confused by that, but almost all of them are. Uh, that is certainly a fair statement. And look, I've been critical of Rand Paul only saying he should get more fired up. But if you watch that debate last Wednesday night, and we covered it live here during the 28-hour transmission, he's hands down the best candidate. I mean, Trump's funny to watch. He's fun. He says a lot of stuff that's true. But it's just crazy. You know, talking about optics, I saw a story over the weekend about Vladimir Putin and Berlusconi, the former president of Italy, in eastern Ukraine, in Crimea, at a famous vineyard. And they, were, they opened up a bottle of thousands of bottles of wine that were there that was 210 years old. You can just type in Putin uh, and Berlusconi in Ukraine probe for drinking Crimea wine. And this is a stunt they know will reach out to the proletariat. At the time that that bottle of wine was corked, was produced, Russia fully controlled Ukraine and fully controlled Crimea, and the Crimea was part of Russia. But that doesn't matter. They're now claiming that Putin and Berlusconi stole a bottle of wine that was part of a PR stunt just promoting local Ukrainian wine. Like, oh, we're here with the farmers. Yes, let's open some wine. Why? It's very old. And then they reduce it down to the ultimate crime. BBC, CNN, Fox News, Associated Press, Reuters, French news agencies, that Vladimir Putin is there looting the Ukrainian wine. The globalists overthrew the country two years ago. They put it into civil war. They appointed a government. They're bombing and shelling all over the country. The Russians have taken a small area that has their pipelines. 
Joe Biden's son, the one that lived, uh, not the other one, you know, is over there claiming he owns the pipelines now. He heads the company that's getting them. It's a power grab in Russia's backyard. And the public is so angry over a bottle of wine. The globalists are robbing us with Obamacare. They're robbing us of our future. They're turning ISIS and Al-Qaeda loose all over the world. And they could reduce this, though, down to Berlusconi and Putin are in Ukraine stealing the wine. And there's a major investigation, and Berlusconi is banned from Ukraine by the Ukrainian authorities in the West. Well, guess what? You don't control that area. But it just shows how everything is turned into propaganda now. Everything turns into some giant stunt. And then the real communist threat, this pope, is running around telling us we can't have air conditioning and that we can't have hot meals and we can't have nice lives. Why not say we should make clean technologies? Why not say we need to build new civilizations? No, it's we need to have a new dark age overseen by some guy above the law, tax exempt in an armored palace. It's obscene. And the left is making their move worldwide. And a lot of people who've been libertarians or conservatives are deciding to join with the left worldwide in the takeover. And I'm seeing this more and more with people where they're going from being libertarians to just absolutely just getting on the bandwagon. Yeah, let's pay for everything free for foreigners. You're racist if you don't support it. Yeah, this Pope's a great guy. Yeah, we need to go ahead and go along with all this. It's a very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous situation. Now I'm going to go to your phone calls, uh, Gerald and Sonny and Dan and Rattle and others that are patiently holding. But first, this article is up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. And I defend good police officers. I defend local government when it's constitutional. I don't take what one bad cop does and project it onto all the rest of the cops. That's the White House and social engineering. But more and more, I see videos of pro-lifers on the side of the road or constitutionalists out on the sidewalk in front of a university. This has happened all over the country. They'll do it on Constitution Day or Patriots Day. Handing out, this is a new event, but I see these every few months, pod constitutions and the police will arrest you or fine you. And courts will overturn it, but still it happens. Because if you're a student in a university and you're not blocking a, a busy walkway or whatever, because I've read the regulations and the laws and seen the court rulings, you can stand in a commons and hand out literature. Universities are supposed to be the most open, the most free, and they're becoming the least open, the least free. Steve Watson reports, video, cop threatened student with jail for handing out pocket constitutions. You can't do it out here, otherwise I'm going to have to lock you up. When the cop is sworn an oath to the Constitution, that says that he has a right to assemble peacefully and for a redress of grievance. Video has emerged of two students at the College of DuPage, University of Illinois, being threatened. I want these students on. Let's get them on the Nightly News, guys. Uh, being threatened with arrest by a cop for handing out pocket constitutions the day after Constitution Day. <clears throat> I guess this has come out now after the incident. The two students were also handing out flyers that stated America is a free speech zone when they were approached by an officer who subsequently threatened to take them to jail. And some will say, well, they were out there baiting the cop. Well, absolutely, showing this is going on. Because it's this same college I've seen that has fined people for doing this before. The footage shows student Joseph Enders asking the officer, what are the rules for doing this kind of stuff on campus? You go to the student life office and they give you a permit to do so, the officer replies. You can't have everybody out here doing this, the officer states, adding otherwise, you'd have stuff lined up here Everybody handing out different view and different point. So you can't do that. Well, a college is supposed to be like that. Wow, university students voicing and displaying their opinions in America. The horror. The second student, Kara Hamilton, then comments, so like free speech. It's not free speech, ma'am, the officer asserts, claiming that nobody's stopping you from free speech, but you solicit out here that basically you are, you're soliciting your opinion. So see, now putting your opinion out is soliciting. Well, that's free speech, okay? Quoting the cop, okay, and you need to go get a permit. The exchange continues with Enders asking, is speech a commodity? Well, you're handing out pamphlets and stuff like that, and that's exactly what it would mean, the officer responds. Let's go to some of this video and some of this audio. Here it is. 
It's a public university here? So uh, that's correct. And they do have rules, so but you gotta go into the student life and see if you can get a permit to do so. You can't just do it whenever you want. So just like excuse a me, is there is there a what, what is your guys' rules for the, um, for the uh, you know, doing this kind of stuff on campus? Do you guys, what are your guys' rules? I just told you, you got to go to the student life. You got to go to the student life now. Uh, you so, go to the student life yeah, now. Actually, they they and hand they give you a, a permit to do so. So you need a permit to... Yeah, um, we can't, because you can't have everybody out here doing this, okay? Otherwise, you'd have stuff lined up all along here. Everybody have a different view and a different point. Yeah, so you can't do so it. Like, Good pause. It's not free speech. Otherwise, you'd have everyone out here with a different point of view. That's what a college is for. This is what they've turned them into. What was the other big college? Was it Dartmouth? Paul did a story on it a few months ago that said, there is no free speech on campus. Get used to it in the official handbook. I mean, this is the arrogant attitude. Let's go back to the so-called police officer. I don't like free speech. It's not free speech, man. Nobody's stopping you from free speech. But you can't solicit out here. What basically, which what are you you're soliciting? Trying to, you're soliciting your opinions. And pause. Okay, and that's, uh, and that, and on you, opinion and soliciting your opinion is free speech. Soliciting is coming to somebody's door to sell them something on private property, not a perceived public commons. So this police officer hasn't read the statutes and hasn't read the case law. Here it is. And that's uh, and that you need to go get a permit. Is it just go inside? Is it a commodity? Okay. Okay. In any way? Like a is speech, a commodity? Well, well uh, and stuff like that. So that's exactly what it would about, be. What what's the permit for that we need exactly? Yeah. Why don't you go talk to student life? Okay. But you can't do it out here. Otherwise, I went to lock you up. Okay. Uh, I don't want it to come to that. So, like so said, it's I'm the signs or is it the so flyer? You so you're passing out stuff. You're I mean, I asked, for, I asked for it, though. They're, they're soliciting it. Okay. I mean, you approached them because they were here doing it. I mean, okay. If they weren't here, you wouldn't have approached them. So, okay. So, so right, like, so political speech. I think I've talked to you before. I've talked to you before, I, I believe, in the past. I think it was last semester I've talked to you. Hit pause. I Back it up. And now some little security guard shows up bugging his eyes out. The cop starts, I've talked to you before. You can tell he's thinking about arresting him. You know, you've been out here before with those constitutions. You know, in the back of his head, constitutionalist, terrorist, MRAPs, the enemy. I mean, this is the ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, brainwashing at work. Uh, let's go ahead now and go back to the clip. I'll approach them. Okay, so, so right, like, so political off, speech. I've talked to you before. I've talked to you before, I, I believe, in the past. I think it was last semester I've talked to you. I don't believe so. I think so. I think well, I, I remember getting a stick. Well, I know for a fact, because I probably would have been pretty upset about that. So, and I talked to the other gentleman that you were with earlier at the table out in front. Oh, so, my gosh. Uh, just one more question. So, why do we need the permit? Why don't you go to the student life and ask them? Okay, them. awesome. Right. Cool, thank you, officer. Nice I appreciate yeah, break it. it up. Break it up. Bring it up out here with your American flag and your pocket constitution for free, promoting American values. You don't do that. And then a lot of these universities refuse the permits. In fact, guys, I don't want to just say that. I want to prove it to TV viewers and radio listeners. Search engine, um, college refuses permit to hand out pocket constitutions. That one was in California. This is happening all over the country. In fact, that's it. <sighs> I'm going to go to UT or, or have one of the reporters who wants to do it. I'm going to go down to UT, and I'm going to hand out thousands of pocket constitutions, and I'm not even a student. I, I don't care. And when the cops show up and say I can't do it, I'm going to say, you understand, this is supposed to be the freest, most open area for the dissemination of free speech. And then I'm going to be able to show people handing out free Chinese restaurant menus and free pizza menus, which they do. And they don't mess with that. They don't care. But they do care if I'm out there promoting the Bill of Rights and Constitution. Because it's prasada non grata. And the, 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 the schools and the colleges are turning into wastelands where free speech is completely, totally, absolutely under attack. There it is. Hawaiian student sues after being ordered to stop handing out pocket constitutions. Yeah, that's another article. I'm telling you, they're all over the country. I mean, it is all over the nation. But I, I saw one a few months ago where... Then the students go. I, th I think it was Berkeley. They go. There it is. Yeah, California College student teaches school fifty thousand dollar lesson on Constitution. That's a Fox News article. A Carol, California. It's so too small for me to read. A California College student who was blocked last year from handing out copies of the Constitution. Gave his school a lesson in civics and the law, winning fifty thousand dollar settlement and an agreement to reverse its speech codes. And look, we're not looking to raise money and sue people, but 
this is what needs to be done. I mean, we've got people going into men's barbershops saying, cut my hair, and then going and basically